you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. Pull up, we bust, and not for discussion. We play with drums like shit is percussion. Stay with a hammer like this is construction. Drink too much honey, my shooter. What's good, YouTube man? It's Clutch. We back out with another video. Today's video, we got the best two-way pass-first point build in NBA 2K20. Now, before we get into this video, man, I just want to say shout out to you guys for 30k subscribers. We just hit 30k subs like two days ago. I really want to say thank you guys for that. We're already at 31k subs. I know on the sub count says 30,900. But on YouTube Studio, it says 31,000. It just hasn't updated the sub count yet. Now, these past few months, I've been getting 10K subs each month. So let's see if we can hit 40K subs by the end of May. I'm pretty sure we can do it. But with all that stuff out the way, man, we're going to get straight into the best two-way pass first point build in NBA 2K20. Make sure you guys do make it a point guard because it is a two-way pass first point, not a guard or a wing. Make it a point guard. And this other stuff does not matter. That's personal preference. Now, moving on to skill breakdown with this build, man. I don't know if you can make this build any other skill breakdown. Besides the defense and shooting, me personally, I haven't seen this build made at any other pie chart. If you made this build at any other pie chart, let me know in the comment section below. I'm always curious to know, but we are going to be picking the defense and shooting. You're going to be able to get Hall of Fame shooting badges, Hall of Fame defensive badges. You will be able to speed with, with takeover, and you have pretty decent finishing stats. Make sure you guys do pick the defense and shooting pie chart. Now, moving on to physical profile of this build, man, I would either recommend you pick all agility or the agility and vertical personally for this build i think i'm gonna just pick the all agility just to have the most speed now the agility and vertical pie chart is a good pie chart especially if you want to have some high vertical it's really up to you but personally i'm gonna just pick the all agility i want to have the max speed possible now move on to the attributes man make sure you guys do it just like this so you get the maximum bad as possible your close shot you are gonna max this out to an 84 also max out that driving layup to a 76 you also are going to max out your driving up to a 77 and your standing up you are going to put this to a 39 so you get eight finishing badges now moving on to shooting you're gonna max out your mid-range shot also max out your three-point shot you also are gonna max out your free throw to an 88 and your post fade you're gonna put this to a 67 so you get 17 shooting badges now moving on to playmaking your pass accuracy you're gonna put this to an 81 which is one point off of the max and you are gonna max out your ball handling to a 78 so you get 10 playmaking bad now moving on to defense you're gonna max out your perimeter defense also max out your lateral quickness to an 83 you also are gonna max out your steel to an 87 and your defensive rebounding you're gonna put this to a 75 so you get 19 defensive rebounding badges and you guys can see here's the build you get eight finishing 17 shooting 10 playmaking and 19 defensive rebounding you can add that up that's a total of 54 badges for this two-way pass first point build now i know there is a couple different ways to make this build some people make this build with one extra shooting badge some people make the build with one extra playmaking badge i know people make the build with extra defensive badges i did compromise on some of those badges because i did want to have eight finishing badges in my opinion i feel like this is the most balanced way to make this build because i wanted eight finishing badges i feel like there's four finishing badges you had to have with this build so that's why i had that many finishing but this build's perfect you're not lacking any stat you got really good defense you can dribble the ball you can shoot you have hall of fame shooting badges and you have pretty good finishing make sure you guys do make the build just like this now moving on to this other stuff man body shape does not matter it's a guard so i'm gonna just pick the finer compact but like i said every single my videos it doesn't matter whatsoever what you pick it doesn't affect anything personally i'm gonna just pick define now moving on to the height with this build the best height for this build is going to be six foot five that is just the best height for guards in general in nba 2k20 now at six foot five you're decently tall so you're gonna be able to play some pretty good defense with this build and you're not too tall that you're not gonna be able to speed boost you guys see you have a 75 ball handling i'm gonna show you guys later how you're gonna be able to speed boost with that ball handling so make sure you guys do make the build six foot five now moving on to the weight with this build personally i'm gonna just recommend you lower your weight all the way down to 175 pounds better lateral quickness better acceleration better vertical if you want to be a little bit heavier so you can bang down low at the centers go ahead but personally i'm going to just recommend you lower your weight all the way down to 175 pounds now moving on to the wingspan of this build here is a very key thing your wingspan has to be above the default and you can max it out from there so if you put your wingspan to default and under it's gonna have your name as something else so if you want to say two-way pass first point your wingspan has to be a 2.6 and higher now if you don't want to take too much of a big hit on your stats you can put your wingspan a 2.6 that's the absolute shortest you can do personally i would just recommend you max your wingspan out you're gonna have insane defense with max arms 
Look at your shooting. You have a 77 mid range and a 76 three pointer. If you did not know, when you hit 99 overall, you get a plus four to all your attributes 77 plus four, 76 plus four. You're going to have 81 mid range and an 83 pointer at 99 overall. Still really good shooting stats. Even the stats right now are still plenty fine. Plus, keep in mind, you have Hall of Fame shooting badges with this build. Another key thing. Take a look at your ball handling. You have a 72 ball handling. If you did not know, you need an 86 ball handling to speed boost. And like I said, when you hit 99 overall, a plus four to all your attributes. So 72 plus four, you will have a 76 ball handling at 99 overall. And if you pick the playmaker or slash or takeover, those give you a plus 10 to your ball handling with takeover. So 76 plus 10, you're gonna have an 86 ball handling with this build at 99 overall. So you'll be able to speed boost with this build at 99 overall if you pick the playmaker or slash or takeover. So keep that in mind. I recommend you max your wingspan out. So you have way better defense. Now moving on to the takeovers with this build, man. Like I just explained, do you want a speed boost? You have to either pick playmaker or slasher. You're not gonna be able to speed boost off rip. You are gonna have to wait to hit 99 overall to be able to speed boost. Personally, with this build, I feel like the best takeover is going to be playmaker. This is pretty much an ISO build. I see a lot of people ISO with this build, so I personally recommend you pick playmaker. Now, lockdown defender, if you want to play some really good defense, you are not gonna be able to speed boost, but you still be able to get the tier three drill moves. So you'll be able to dribble pretty good without being able to speed boost. This will improve your defense a lot. And sharpshooter, if you want to shoot better, go ahead. But personally, I would recommend you pick playmaker or slasher. I'm personally gonna recommend you pick playmaker for this build. And you guys can see. Here's the build. You have built a two-way pass first point, similar to DeJounte Murray, Steve Francis, and Stephen Curry. Very nice build, 54 badges. Now we're gonna get straight into the best badges for this build, man. If you guys still watch this video, man, make sure you guys do it the like button, subscribe, pull the sub count real quick. Like I said, man, my goal by the end of the month is to hit 40K subs. We be getting 10K subs every month, so I'm pretty sure we can do that. But if you're watching this video right now, you like what you see, do it the subscribe, man, turn on notifications. Now we're gonna get straight into the best badges for this build. Put us to 99 overall real quick. Let me take the sub count off. Give me a minute. Now you guys can see you have a 78 driving dunk when you hit 99 overall. That's a plus four. So 78 plus four. You will have an 82 driving dunk at 99 overall. Unfortunately, you're two points off of getting the pro contact dunk. So no contact dunks with this build. But at 99 overall, you're still going to have an 82 driving dunk. So you're going to be able to dunk pretty good with this build regardless of having contact dunk. So keep that in mind. I did do eight finishing batters. And I already had this planned out. The bat is I wanted to throw on silver contact finisher, silver giant slayer, silver slithery finisher, and silver fancy fork. These four badges, you have to have these four badges on this build, and that's why I wanted eight finishing badges. I wanted all these badges, so I did do these on silver. Contact finisher, you want to finish in traffic, layups, and dunks. You are going to need this badge. Giant Slayer, keep in mind you are a 6 foot 5 player. This badge will activate when you go up against anybody that's 6 foot 10 or taller. It'll make it harder to block your layup or dunk, and it'll help you finish over taller defenders. You definitely need this badge. Fancy Ford, the hop steps in this game are overpowered. That's a no brainer badge. And Slithery Finisher, this badge is to help you avoid contact at the rim and drive past your defenders you gotta have these four badges on i feel like these are gonna be the best finishing badges for this build moving on to shooting badges this build man you have 17 shooting badges i'm gonna recommend you throw a hall of fame quick draw now i know most people are used to playing on gold quick draw because you don't have hall of fame shooting badges if you're one of those people you can throw your quick draw down to gold or even silver if you like a slower jump shot personally i'm gonna just do hall of fame that is really just personal preference 13 upgrades left i'm also gonna recommend you throw a hall of fame range extender this badge right here is to help you shoot a lot deeper i even see this badge activate on mid-range shots you definitely need this badge nine upgrades left i'm also gonna recommend throwing hall of fame hot zone hunter if you have all your hot zones this badge right here is gonna help you shoot 10 times better definitely need that badge five upgrades left i'm also gonna recommend throwing hall of fame deadeye for this build this badge right here is to help you make more contested shots it's gonna be a very nice badge especially if you're ice wing you're gonna be able to make more contested shots one upgrade left I would say either do Green Machine or Volume Shooter. It's really up to you, whatever badge you want personally. I think I'm gonna just do Green Machine. I feel like these are gonna be the best shooting badges for this build. You want some other badges though? Volume Shooter, like I said, that's a very nice option. Clutch Shooter, Flexible Release, there's plenty of good options. This is just my personal recommendation. And if you want to be a little bit more balanced, you could do Gold Deadeye and Silver Green Machine. It's really up to you. This is what I would do personally. Now moving on to playmaking badges this build, man, you only have 10 playmaking bads not the most in the world so you do have to compromise a lot here i'm gonna just recommend throwing gold handles for days and gold quick first step these two badges have to be on gold four upgrades left not the most in the world now especially if you're ice swing with this build you need space creator badge you don't need it as high if you're not ice swing but if you're ice swing with this build you got to have this badge on gold and this pretty much is an iso build so i'm gonna just recommend throw this badge on gold now you got one upgrade left i would just say do bronze and pluckable 10 upgrades is not the most for playmaking badges, but this is what I would do personally if it was up to me. But you can change the badges up, do whatever you want to do. Now moving on to defensive badges with this build, man, you have 19 defensive badges. That is a whole lot. I'm going to recommend throwing Hall of Fame Clamps, Hall of Fame Intimidator, and Hall of Fame Pick Dodger. These three badges 
have to be on Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame pick dodges help you fight through Hall of Fame brick wall screens. Intimidator is going to make people miss shots. And Clamps is going to help you clamp the opposing ball handler. You definitely need these three badges on Hall of Fame seven upgrades left keep in mind you do have a max wingspan if it was up to me i would definitely throw on hall of fame interceptor because i do like intercepting passing lanes now if you don't want it that high you don't necessarily have to put it that high personally i'm gonna just put the badge on silver but you do have a very high steal take advantage of that plus you have max wingspan five upgrades left i'm also gonna recommend throwing silver pickpocket for this build again you have a very high steal take advantage of that three upgrades left I'm gonna recommend throwing gold pogo stick, especially if you're guarding an ISO player, he makes you jump up and down. You need to keep jumping up and down to contest a shot or block a shot. You definitely need pogo stick. I feel like these are gonna be the best defensive rebound badges for this build. You want some other badges, I'll change the badges up, do whatever you want to do. If you want Hall of Fame pogo stick, you can even drop pickpocket to bronze and do Hall of Fame pogo stick. It's really what you want to do personally, but this is what I'm gonna do personally. But that's pretty much it, man. That's the best two-way pass first point build in NBA 2K20. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did enjoy this video, man, make sure you guys do it the like button, subscribe. Like I said earlier in the video, my goal by the end of May is to hit 40K subs. So if you're watching this video right now, you like what you see, do it the subscribe and turn on notifications. We've been getting 10K subs every single month, so I'm pretty sure we can do it again. But that's pretty much it, man. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Until next time, clutch out. I'm feeling your energy And shorty man, she really into me I got lots of enemies And they wanna act like they friends with me